Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. You how how you change your your look? Oh, <laughs> I have uh, tied my hair. I have a ponytail. Oh. Yeah. Uh, now you look nice. Have... <laughs> <laughs> but I like your your like your curly hair too. I like. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> how was your weekend? Mm, well, a little bit sick. I, I had a, an, uh, I don't know if, if the correct word is a surgery, surgery, a, surgery a on surgery. Friday. Yeah, on, on my eyes. Remember oh. I had, I had my, uh, with, uh, with black, uh, black glasses Friday, on Friday. Yes. That's why, because that day I had the, in the, the beginning. Surgery. Yeah, the surgery. Then I had been with a lot of a headache, but terrible headache. But uh, today I, fe I felt better. Okay, I'm happy to hear that you feel better. I'm sorry to hear that you had the surgery. And of course, and um, it's something that is necessary, that, uh, right? Yeah. So I hope that you feel much better. And thank you for being connected today. All right. Yeah. And I'm um, very on time. I enjoy, I enjoy your classes. Thank you. Like, yeah. Yeah. I like my classes. Excellent. Yes. All right, and I don't know what's going on with the rest. They forgot <laughs> that they have classes, maybe. <laughs> it's Monday, remember? Everything is crowd, the traffic and everything. Traffic is crazy, especially, yeah. especially on Mondays and Fridays. I right. understand that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, at least we can practice. We can have like a, a little bit talk. talk. Yeah. In the meantime, like the rest come. And uh, have you worked in uh, in the platform? Yes. Okay. I I am on section five. You were doing the section five as well. Okay. And yeah. you didn't have any inconvenience filling out the exercises. Today I ha I was just uh I don't know I I I didn't want to continue because I I I type my my answer three times and the three times. When I sent, uh, the the platform said there is something wrong, and you, I will have to close the the page. And when I had closed, and then everything was down, uh, was uh, perdido, lost, lost. lost. And I and then I began again, I turn on again, and uh. do it three times. And then I say, I know. Then I I continue with the next exercise, and and continue giving the same problem. I it was very hard to try to work being that like that the, the, the platform uh, it was like uh, from 1 p.m to 3 30 p.m i had the, that problem today well i hope that if we try later it works and at this time we are fine because the session five will be finished basically um, yeah next, the next week, week. Yes. yes i know okay but you have done the section four already right yeah yeah okay that's good Hello, Edgardo, what about you? How was your weekend? Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, it was a good weekend. All right. What Did about you? Work? <laughs> I spent the weekend with my daughter and my uh, nephew. And it was, it was fine. We spent very good time together. So we also rested, at least, right? We didn't work on, on the weekends. All right, thank you for asking. What about Alberto? How was your weekend? How is everything going on? Oh, good evening. Oh, well, it was pretty, uh, quite, not that good because I had some, uh, uh, not that good weekend, but this is, this is was a good, uh, initial i mean starting of the week because i it was hard at the beginning in the morning but finally everything turns right and the much better the... okay yeah excellent mm -hmm. have you guys uh besides lorena i already uh, asked her but have you worked in the platform uh uh have you finished the platform uh on section four yeah, I complete that. And I start, you completed the, the I completed, yeah. Uh, I started the the section five that he 
I still have an issue with that because I tried to sort the order of the story, but it doesn't match. <laughs> I put it random ways. It doesn't. It's, it's wrong. Completely wrong. That is weird. But anyways, we will be working on session four because we are still pending on uh, reviewing some topics about the relative clauses, for example. So in this case, I would like you to give me more examples. But of course, I'm going to take a look on the on the platform and try to match the uh, the examples that I have here. For example, you have already uh, started. Um, oh, let me just share my screen. Hello, Ciro. Why are you Why are you hiding? Oh, but what? you see, my computer is yeah, different, uh, right? yeah, yeah. Excellent. I wanted to say that. <laughs> it's working, yeah. So uh, I got my computer fixed. So thankfully, it was not a big deal. Maybe I just had to spend a few, a couple of dollars. But anyways, I am happy that my camera is working right now very well. All right, and I hope that it continues like Excellent. this. Yes. Hello, Zero. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm very well, and you? Fine. Why are you hiding? Hey guys, we're very few today. I don't know why, what's going on with the rest. I received some messages from a couple of students who are not going to be connected. One of uh, my students' uh, grandmoms died. That's a very sad news as well. And anyways, guys, we're still here struggling, right? Trying to learn every day and well, trying to overcome with all these inconveniences or these uh, hard times, right? And well, we were pending to do the, the quiz show. I understand that you probably finished. What about you, Ciro? Did you finish this session already? No yet at the at mid time mid test mix some. Oh um, right. Today I I I do the. You did uh, section section. Remember, four. we're talking about for the in past. We always use the simple past tenses. Okay, so yeah. I did your you did the exercises or a couple of exercises of session four. Great. And I want to uh, give you a, a tip now that I heard a uh, com like a uh, pronunciation when we say mm, jet, right? Jet is the airplane, this the little small one, uh, the little ones. So in that case, zero, I recommend you to practice or not to say do, for example. Uh, uh, or to say jet, mm -mm, that is yet, a little bit softer, right? The, the sound is yet, no jet. Jet is the airplane, all right? So be careful with that pronunciation, zero. Hello, Claudia. I understand that you're working at this Hello. moment, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. But thank you very much for being connected, guys. Okay. You're welcome. All right, Edgardo, did you finish this exercise already? No, teacher. Uh, yet? I just have completed the the exam. The exam of session three. Yes. Okay. Well, in this case, if you haven't done this and zero haven't done it as well. We're gonna do it together, okay? Um, let me see. Let me know if you're able to hear the audio. And then we answer together. I know Le Le Lorena and Jesus will, uh, sorry, Alberto, will give us uh, their answers. So the rest can can have the correct the correct answers. Give me a moment. Let's play it. Page 95, exercise nine. 
Perspectives Quiz Show Part A Listen to a quiz show. Can you guess the occupations? Do you hear, guys? Okay. One, a blank who finds appropriate places to shoot scenes gets to travel all over the world. Two, a blank is someone who chooses an actor for each part in a movie. Three, a blank who makes sure that everything on a movie set looks realistic, creates the objects that the characters use. Four, a blank is someone who develops and expands a story idea into a full movie script. Five, a blank is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. Six, a blank who is used when an original screenplay needs more work, makes jokes funnier, and dialogues more realistic. Okay. That's it. So, help me. Please help me read, guys. So, the first one. The number one. Can you read it for me, Lorena? Number one. What will be the answer? Number one. Who find appropriate places to shoot the sense. The sense gets. It was. Um, to shoot scenes. Look, Lorena, now, now your, your camera is yeah. working. Not working. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Continue. To travel all over the world. It's the um, location scout. Okay. That's a person who finds appropriate places. Okay. Very good. So this is Sam. Location scout. Location scout. Okay. Location scout. Yeah. Okay, thank you. What about number two? Help me read, Alberto. Okay. Uh, uh, can I say the, the word or just... Uh, okay. Uh, blank Tell is me what, what you believe would be the best answer in number two. Uh, okay. A casting director is someone who chooses an actor for each part in a movie. Okay. So there is... Um, uh, casting, casting director. director. Casting director. Okay. And the number three. Help me, Elgardo. Who makes sure that everything on a movie set looks realistic, creates the object that the character use. The character use. Character the characters use. use. Okay. What, what is the answer here? Uh, Make sure that everything in the see. movie sets, uh, looks realistic. Teacher, I don't know what is prop. Okay, you guys, hey, uh, what is prop? If you say, um, if you know the answer, it's basically everything that is used on a scene when they are they are putting everything that they need, like any, um, uh, how can I say this? Uh, to support or to give um, some utilities. Utilities? Okay. Or, yeah. Thank you. So I think he is prop designer. Yeah, A prop designer. All right, very good. And number three, I'm sorry, it's prop designer. All right, let me see if we look for this. Um, if there is synonym, so we can have synonyms, synonyms here, prop. Besides that noun, it's also, um, see, place, stand, balance, set anything that has to do with 
the utilities they can have. Okay. Mm. There you have the answers. Um, number four, can you help me? Welcome, Ronald. Can you help me, Zero, with number four? Girl, no, no, see the screen. Okay. I don't see the screen. I don't see the screen. Okay. Uh, is someone who develops and expand a story idea into a full movie script? Movie script. Mo movie movie script. script. Okay. okay. Movie script. Movie script. Yes. Uh, is a... someone who develops and expand a story. Develop, it's like create, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. So who creates the, uh, the, a, the story? It's a write, writer. This a writer, exactly, yes. writer. Okay, and the number four, five, sorry. Can you help me with number five, Ronald? <laughs> I cannot see the options. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Screen. Sorry, it's a script. Screenwriter. Okay, read it here. Number five. I guess is dialect coach. Okay, I read the complete sentence. A dialect coach is a language specialist who works with actors and their accents. Okay, so that is the dialect coach, right? I'm not sure, but I guess, I guess so. All right, we will check right now. And the number six, can you help me, Claudia, if you are able to answer? Can you share the All right, there you are, sorry. Um, a script director who is used when our original screenplay needs, needs more work, makes jokes funnier and dialogues more realistic. All right, so that is the... Script doctor, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. This is a T here. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you for the answers. Take a screenshot if you don't want to be like playing or checking the answers. If you don't know the correct answers, so it's going to be easier when you fill out the exercises. Okay. We continue with the relative clauses. What is a relative clauses or non-relative clause? Relative clause could be relative clauses that are actually words that connect ideas, right? Or sometimes they give extra information about the the uh, about the situation or anything that we're talking about. What do you remember about about the um, about these guys? The guys that you have already checked the session for. How can you define a not defining relative clause? We're talking about relative clauses. It could be non-defining or could be defining relative clauses. What is the difference, guys? With defining relative clause, it's necessary the information. And with the non-defined relative clause, the information is unnecessary. Okay, it can be omitted and it still has the same meaning, right? The, ends, the, um, the sentence has their own meaning uh, or its own meaning, even though um, we don't use a relative. Uh, if we have actually to use a relative clauses to give um uh to emphasize the ideas or to clarify uh, 
specific details about it, right? So that is basically the relative clauses. And well, I guess you have already checked this video. And give me some examples. I have plenty of examples here, okay? Uh, we are we are going to do the knowledge check together, okay? You have already watched the video, right? Okay, for example, uh, defining relative clauses is exactly what uh, uh, Angelica just said. Example, uh, it's to uh, when we are identifying people or we are identifying the subject or we're giving extra information about it. And it is important in this case, but the non-relative clauses then, what is that? No relative clause. It's the opposite, right? Uh-huh. So in your own words, what is that? What is a defining relative clause? A non-defining, sorry, non-defining. Okay, it's it the is opposite. not. It is not a, a specific person or, or a specific, a, a specific, a specific. Okay, yeah. the info, the information we give is general. it can be omitted, it can be removed, and it still has the same meaning. It still have the 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 same message we understand. Um, it's extra information. Sometimes it's not necessary, and basically that is what a relative clause is. So we have some examples here for relative clauses. Okay. For example, normally it is divided in commas, right? So if you can see this, that is upstairs, that is not necessary, for example. So we will be between commas. Let's remove it here. The bedroom that is upstairs needs to be decorated. I don't care if where, where the bedroom is. Okay. Let me see. What did I do? Oh my goodness. Okay, I couldn't. I couldn't get it. Okay, the bathroom needs to be decorated. So in this case, it it can be changed for a. No, um, this is a. a um, Sorry, guys, the bedroom, which is upstairs, in this case, yes, it matters, right? Because we have a lot of bedrooms, maybe, and we need to be, uh, to be more specific about what, which bedroom we're using or we're talking about. So the bedroom, which is... Um, that is upstairs. That is upstairs, that is upstairs. okay, uh, or which is upstairs needs to be decorated. So we also use commas to separate or to give extra information, which is useful in this case, all right? I would like you to give me more examples. We have another one, okay? Can you identify where, zero, can you identify where is the relative close in the second example? This one? Let me, let me change. Uh... I'm not sure about the has been. Has been. The dog which beat my daughter. Mm. The dog which beat my daughter. Mm. Has been impounded. impounded. Are you sure, guys? What do you think? No, it is which beat my, my daughter. Remember, you separated with commas. So normally this is in the middle, okay? The dog, the dog has been impounded. Which dog, right? Which dog are we talking about? Oh, the one who beat my daughter, right? That is that is the relative clause. In this case, it gives extra information and it's important, all right? So we identify which dog we're talking about. Uh, the other one, number three, uh, what do you think, Edgardo? 
is that I read last week. Mm -hmm. Oh, that I read last week. Very good. Um, one moment. So if we move this, this book has really caught the attention of the media. Which book? Oh, the one that I read last week. Very good. The number four, what, what about number four? Help me identify it, please. Claudia, if you're there. The holiday which took place in Greece was very enjoyable. And the relative clause is which took place in Greece. Exactly, which took place in Greece, all right? We are talking about that holiday in Greece, right? We, we could have a different holiday, but from a different place. So very well. And the number five. Uh, tell me, what do you think, Alberto? Okay, mm, is my father, who is from Spain, I mean, he's actually saying that, who is from Spain, only speak a little English. That, okay. That's... In my opinion, in this case, it's not like very, very important because the, the it can be removed. My father only speaks a little English, right? This is basically extra information. This could be non-relative clause in my opinion, but it's also, if we want to give extra information, in this case, it, it, we can, we can determine if it's a relative clause. But in my opinion, it could be also non-defining relative clauses. All right. Now, guys, I would like you to give me a couple of examples, okay? Each of you, we are seven, three, six, seven, nine. No, how many are we? We're eight, uh, including me, we're nine. All right. Hello, Jonathan. Um, I would like you to give me example, guys, okay? Remember, practice makes perfect. So, what do you think? What can you tell me? Ciro, you're, you're, you're living <laughs> instead of giving me the example. Come on, you're not, you haven't worked on this session, so I would like you to know uh, what exactly a relative clause is, because you gave me, uh, you say that it had been impounded, uh, impounded was the relative clause, and in this case, you were not right. So give me examples, okay? Come on, guys. You can, you can either text it because probably you're working and you are not able to talk, all right? But I would like to have a couple of more examples. The cup that was on the table was broken. Okay. Which, <laughs> which, which cup, right? Okay. It could be um, the one who gave me, uh, the one that somebody gave me, right? So we're talking about that, that one that is that what exactly. Very good. I like it. All right. Zero, I'm waiting for your answer. Okay. The, the cup is, the cup eats all food in the morning. What is the relative clause there? Uh, it's, it's all food. Which was on, let me see, on the table, broke. That is the example. Which was on the table, uh, how did you say the, the complete sentence, Edgardo? Was broken. Was broken, okay. Oh, we're using past, uh, the, the past participle and we are using the passive. In this case, good job. Okay, now the cat. Repeat, please, zero. The cat. The cat. Comma. It's uh, the it's all food. Okay. Comma in the morning. In the mo in the morning. Mm -hmm. What do you think, guys? And so, what is the relative closing here? 
What is the extra information we're adding? In this case, I do not see, uh, uh, with all respect, zero, I do not see any relative clause here. How can we add a relative clause? Remember, it gives extra information, which actually is very important information that we cannot omit. And in these examples, for relative clauses, we have a which, what can be another guys? Which that. we have been using which that that okay the other one remember we need to add which that who who, who. <laughs> we can also use whose right when we're talking about possession or uh, what else there could be two more when we're talking about places for example what do we use where exactly and the other one we're talking when. about time mm -hmm. when. when yeah very good so you can give me more examples example zero in this case will be the cat which eats which eats all the food in the morning Okay, I will just leave it in uh, in parentheses, but you you know that this should be a comma, right? This could be the comma, and then that is that could be a a relative clause, all right? Which is food in the morning. What happened with that cat? We give extra information. Zero. You need to add a little bit more details. Okay. Okay. died <laughs> okay uh was stolen or anything some something like that okay i will help you with the with the with the final uh, with the final detail okay so which is all food in the morning that will be the relative clause okay and then was stolen the cat was stolen it makes sense if I say the cat was stolen, but I need to give extra information, right? Okay, this is the relative clause. The next example, um, hmm. any other one? Using any of them, guys. You can say you, uh, who's, where. My parrot, which makes a lot of noise in the morning, it is sleeping right now. Okay. My parrot, which sleeps, which makes a lot of noise in the morning. Okay, a lot of mean? noise <laughs> huh? in the morning. Come on, it is mm -hmm. sleeping right now. Very good. Is is it sleeping or is sleeping? Is sleeping. It, it is. It is. It is. No, 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 yes, you don't have to use it uh, anything okay. uh, at okay. this time because we're talking about the parrot, so we okay. already have the subject here. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's so the parrot right is sleeping, is a uh, sleeping, no, is sleeping. Okay, it's sleeping. Re -re remember pronunciation, no s, all right, no a uh, sleeping, just sleeping. sleeping. Very good, it's sleeping now. Okay, all right. Thank you. Very nice example. Uh -huh. Jonathan, you sent anything? Oh, we have a many. Yeah. Oh, you had written several examples, which is in the bathroom has been broken. Thank you, Ronald. Very nice example. Uh, you have guys there, the examples that send each of you. Um, surgery. Surgery, that would be like this. Surgery. Okay. Okay. And so the surgery we I had, which I that I had on my eye last Friday was very quickly. All right. Wasn't no uh, it it was not painful, was it, Lorena? It was. Did it, it was, hurt? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. But 
you're gonna see much better, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. So surgery, it's, the, the spelling is a little different. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Alberto, 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 Alberto. You co-worker, your co-worker who's wearing red shirt. It's a nice singer. Nice example. I love it. I love it. All right. And my husband who is blind, who's a blind person, is a psychologist. Okay. <laughs> which I took <laughs> my vacation, which I took I took last week. It was a great time. My vacation. Uh um, I will help you doing like re rebuilding this one, okay? Guys, how can we modify this? Oh, sorry, no, this is the one. My vacations or my holidays, which I took last summer, it was a, a great time. You don't have to use it anymore. We're talking about vacations. So in this case, we guess this was Claudia. Okay, in this case, you don't have to use it. And remember, it's talk, you're talking about vacations, so that is plural, okay? Where? My vacations, which I uh, which I took last uh, last summer, where? Because we're talking about plural. If it's just vacation with the S, without the S, in that case, yes, was is correct. So you don't have to use my vacation and it as well, okay? Either just one, uh, one subject. With the subject we already know, we don't have to use it anymore, okay? My vacation was a great, was, was, was great. I will, I will leave it like this. My vacation was great. Or in my vacation, I, I had a great time. All right, in my vacation, which uh, in this case, we can change it like this. In my vacation, which I took last summer, I had a great time, okay? In my vacation, which I took. Yeah, I had a great time. I will leave it like this, okay? Next. Uh, let me see who else is missing. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, the garden which is in front of my house needs more water. Nice. We visited last year is closed. My parrot, which makes a lot of noise in the morning, is sleeping, right? No, not with the eggs anymore, which we order, which we was ordering. Let me let me check this one. The restaurant which uh, which we was ordered food uh, was quickly mm, was fast. Okay, I will say fast. All right, so they did it. They were very very. Um, how can we say this instead of fast? Mm. Which we order food was fast. Okay, which we was ordered, guys. What is what is the mistake here? We Where? was ordered. Aha, uh -huh, Jonathan. We were ordered. Yeah. Which we were ordered. Nosotros fuimos ordenados, dice ahí. Sería. I don't know. How do you change the idea, guys? We order. Uh -huh. And the last part. In this really? case, the restaurant where we can say here, where we order food, pero no we were ordered, okay? Ahí tenemos dos verbos que they are not necessary. O que estuvimos, ahí sí, vea. Where we were, donde estuvimos, uh, where we were last week, was fast, was great, was amazing. Uh, or where we order, donde pedimos la comida rápida, 
was fast or how can we say this when something is really really um ready ready um i I, I forgot i forgot the word that i wanted to say but in my opinion that would be um the examples were good but remember guys they, they're um, we don't we need to we need to give it a little bit more sense on the answers or on these sentences. The non-defining relative clauses we have. Example, my brother or my dad, who is retired now, spent a lot of time with his grandchildren, okay? My dad, my grandfather, and my brother is not retired yet. My grandfather, <laughs> who is retired, who is retired, uh, retired, sorry, now spends. So we remove this and it's not necessary, right? My father spends a lot of time with his grandchildren. Okay, I don't, I know we're talking about my grandfather. I don't really have to uh, emphasize that he's already retired. So that is why it's not defining relative clause, okay? The second one, uh-huh. What is the non-relative, the non-relative or non-defining relative clause, sorry, in this, in the second example? Look, in this case, it's not in the middle, okay? Yes. I guess it's yesterday. Mm, it could be. Okay. But when did you meet your boss? So in my opinion, yesterday is not necessary uh, a non-relative clause or non-defining, sorry, a non-defining relative clause. In this case, what do you think, guys? Okay, Ronald gave me a very, who very was, good answer. Who was very nice. Who was, who was very nice, okay? Or we can we can leave it here. We can move it. Yesterday, I met my boss who was very nice. So the other information, it can be removed and it still has meaning, right? Or I met my boss who was really nice, all right? I may, I, and that is, if we didn't have yesterday, it could be, I made my boss who was very nice, all right? We can omit yesterday as well. But in this case, the second, um, the non-defining relative clause is was at the end. Good evening, teacher. Excuse Hello, me, Angela. How, How are, are you? you? Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you too, teacher. Excellent. Uh, why did you connect a little later? Uh, because I uh, arrived le very late. You arrived very yeah, late from the no, job. Yes, yes, yes. How do you say yo tuve que trabajar, guys? Ahí vamos a ocupar. Ajá. Uh -huh. I was. I had. I, oh, no. I have. <laughs> I have I, to work. Uh, I I um no. You say yo tuve que trabajar. Okay, we are going to talk about these models again, but this will be in session five. Okay, uh, it's a have a two. Okay, when we uh, need to do something or we have the obligation to do something. So we say, I have to work every day, but if it's the past, we just change this in the past, past, past. only. I had past. work, all right? I had to work until late. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, so we're talking about the relative clauses, which we have two different uh, relative clauses. One that is, defining which we talked already about it okay and we also talk about the non-defining relative clauses in this case the non-defining relative clauses because can be omitted there is that information can be omitted and it's still giving you good um uh meaning right it still has good meaning for example the house 
is also very cold. Okay, the house is also very cold. Where is the no defining relative clause? Which is very big. Exactly, we remove it and it still has meaning, right? The house is also very cold. Okay, extra information, which is a very big, which is very big. It could be omitted. The next one, number four. Where is it? It's very easy to identify them because remember that we normally have which, we can have the uh, the ones that we just said, which, that, who, whose, where, when, okay? So, where is here? Whose children go to school with ours? With ours? With our children, that is what it means, right? Okay, it can be omitted, my next door neighbor, has just bought a new car, all right? We can omit definitely this option, this secondary information, okay? Number five. Mosquitoes that I hate, relative, no relative close, are biting me a lot. <laughs> Mosquitoes are biting me. You don't have to know, you don't have, you don't have to specify that you hate them, right? <laughs> okay, uh-huh. So where is the non-relative or non-defining relative clause, guys? What is that? Hello, Anna. Been a long time. I, I haven't seen Anna. And I don't know if you're actually a student of mine or what, because it's <laughs> like the second or third time that I see you connected. So I would like you to introduce yourself and let us know what's going on with your camera. I understand that Cam, um, Angelica doesn't have a camera. Jonathan is working and Claudia as well is working. That is why. Ronald, what is going on with you? with your camera guys i fixed my camera for you so i i am i am also expecting you to have my the camera I on did, i didn't right. realize i'm sorry ah you were sleeping right <laughs> ronald <laughs> who had the camera off it's not relative close was paying attention <laughs> okay not defining close okay uh-huh what is this the, in, in number five, guys? Come on, tell me. Whose lies can be seen from across the bay. It's not important and it can be omitted, definitely. All right? So in this case, the relative clause is not in the middle, right? It's at the end. After the port, there, uh, after the port, there is a row of fishermen's houses. The rest is not important. All right? Or can be omitted. What about the number six? Where is the relative or the non-defining clause? Whose dog I'm looking after. Uh-huh. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay, what about, what is look after, guys? Searching. No. Mm. Uh, taking care, I'm sorry. Exactly, to take care, right? It doesn't have anything to do, like to search, right? Just look for, yes, but look after is to take care, all right? Very good to take care of that person. All right. So this is the non-defining clauses. Now I need a uh, more example for non-defining clauses. Guys, come on. At least one from from you, um, so we can finish this and continue with the com mm, with the coming exercise. Give me one example, please. Mm -hmm. I will give you my examples. Mosquitoes, which I hate, comma, 
are biting me all the time. Ronald. Ronald. Who is my student? Had the camera off. I'm I'm asking you guys, is this a relative clause? Um non-defining or defining clause? What do you think? Defining. Defining, right? Because we're talking what about Ronald? Ronald McDonald's? No, right? We're talking about <laughs> Ronald, who is my student, all right? Sorry, yeah. So this is um this is a very good example for relative clause, a uh, defining relative, okay? Now give me non-defining relative clause. Come on, come on, come on. I have two answers already. The the toy I bought in Siman <laughs> was for $25. Wow. Mm -hmm. The toy I bought. Can we can, can we omit which or that? Definitely, yes. yes. So, okay, I bought in Simang cost me 25 bucks. Okay. Is it correct to say cost it me like in past? No. No, actually the past of the verb is actually the same. This doesn't change. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Cost is uh, it's a regular, it's an irregular verb, but like the verb, said. it's the same. Like shot, like uh, cast, 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 the same. Right. So in this case, we don't use the past. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know that sometimes we can say cost it, but no, it's the same past. Okay, it's the same past. The toy I bought in Siman cost me $25. The toy cost me $25. Which toy? Is this a non-defining or defining? What do you think, guys? The toy cost me 25 bucks, but which one? That I bought in Siman is defining. So this is defining, guys, because we're giving extra information and it's actually useful information, okay? Got it? So uh, thank you. Very, very good example, guys. Give me, give, it a, give it another try. Ah, very good, Alberto. I love it. Who married last week? That could be omitted, definitely. Okay? Uh, because the most important is the second, my favorite singer who's, who married last week, that, it, that can be definitely omitted, right? My favorite singer is coming to El Salvador next year. Who's your favorite singer? Well, uh, I love, um, for example, uh, Venegas, uh, the, sing the Venegas? Mexican singer. Okay. Yeah, and okay. that girl, that song with uh, Angel Azul, I forgot her name, but. Uh, How? What is her name, guys? Look, for example, the singer who sings wow. uh, with uh, Angeles Azules. <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh. that one. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's one of my favorite singers. All right. In that case, could be a real a good example for relative uh, a defining relative clause. Okay. Uh, what is her name, guys? Is that the one that you're saying? No. Natalia <laughs> Ah, oh, Natalia. All right. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Um, in English, you don't have any any band, any favorite band. Yeah, I have uh, Nirvana, Metallica, and uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. I love that. All right, it's all these, but it's good. Good. Oh, come on, it's not too old. It's one of my. Those are basically all of those bands are really, really good, and. All of them, I cannot say, okay, this is my favorite one, but probably the uh, the one that I really, really like is Metallica. 
but, but Red Hot Chili Peppers is really good as well. It's very, very good band. And remember, guys, the good thing when you're listening to English music is that you're learning pronunciation and you're learning new vocabulary. And one, one way for you to practice your English, your pronunciation, and to be very fluent will be listening to trap music. No, no, trap music. Sorry, no, it's trap. It's, para mí, it's a garbage music. Sorry, I like que le gusta. But I'm talking about hip hop. Okay, the hip hop is very difficult to sing, like Eminem, for example. I don't really, really like this kind of music, like the hip hop, but it's good to sing, for example. Have you heard of, of Limb Biscuit, for example, guys? Yes, definitely. That it's a, something. Uh, what about Nelly Furtado? Nelly uh -huh. Furtado? Okay. The Canadian girl, yeah. Okay. The math prefer, class that I get today from Alphabet. I prefer that? listening to trap because it doesn't make me feel sad. It's just enjoying it. I mean, it's not like a clear purpose of music, but it makes it doesn't make me feel sad. So it's better. Really? At least it's not romantic. It's not too romantic. But the 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 only thing that I don't like about trap is because their lyrics are kind of offensive and somehow all right that is what i don't like okay so i prefer english music or rock music with rock music you don't you don't feel sad as well you don't feel sad either all right and anyways many people love trap music example uh who is the one the, the most famous one who was like packed in the last uh concert he, he came my how what is his name bad bunny no bad bunny yeah i don't like him and my daughter loves him so imagine how how i suffer <laughs> with my daughter listening to that type of music but this is the the regular this is the the current music that is in right now it's basically the most common music that we listen to but justin bieber has composed so many trap songs too and they have like a good lyric i consider have okay. you ever heard Justin? Justin Bieber. Baby, baby. Yeah, he's nice. Yes, yes. I no, heard. the new ones, the new ones, the new ones. After no, no, he no, got the new married. ones. Okay. If I, as soon as I listen to this kind of to, to, to this the kind of music, I start I I I change my my the, the radio station or I don't listen <laughs> to that type of music, anything, anyways. Okay, but anyways, you we're here and we respect your your preferences of music, of course. But come on, guys, the point I am giving you time, and you haven't given me examples. All of you haven't given me examples about the uh, non-relative, uh, sorry, the non-defining clause. And in this case, I would like to bring up this one. My favorite singer. No, sorry, this is the one. Do you think, do you think this is a non-relative or non-defining clause, guys? The match class, the math match, the math class I gave today from Friday. Oh, okay. Very good. So, yes, because we already specified that is the class from 7, from 5 to 6.15. All right. So, very nice example. I like it. Come on, guys, and the rest, give me, give, give me more examples or I'll leave you some homework. Didn't I give you homework last week? I remember I said something, right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. My example, yes. example. Give me your example because we're, we're basically uh, uh, running uh, out of time. Me, teacher. Yes, tell me, tell me, Angela, and... Uh, Tomorrow we'll the, continue with the answers for the next exercise, okay? For this, okay. Uh, the knowledge <laughs> check, okay? Go, 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 give me, give it to me or save it for yes. me. Um, okay, the teacher who is very pretty is an excellent person. Thank you, okay. I don't know if you're talking about me. <laughs> 
but <laughs> of course which, of course which teacher are you talking about yes. but thank you very much it was a very nice example okay very nice example uh, guys i'll see you tomorrow i have to go because i have the other class coming okay right. yes. see you bye. tomorrow bye. Have, a, have a nice evening bye bye, bye. Guys. take care bye.